How you doing guys? Welcome to another episode. In this episode I'm gonna show you on my 2019 Toyota RAV4 how to replace the rear brakes. Front brakes are easy. I've been replacing front and rear brakes uh, a lot of times. In this case I'm going to show you how to do it with an electrical parking brake. Brake. I'm gonna show you how to perform this task which is really easy. You just need some tools to get this job done. I already blocked my front tires because I have to remove the parking brake. Parking brake right now is on. Key on the on position. Press on your brake pedal. Push on the parking brake. Turn the key off. Remove it. And now the parking brake is being deactivated. You have to be careful when you do this, make sure that your tires are blocked. I block my front tires. I'm gonna put my jack right in the middle on the back to lift the back of the truck and remove the tire. That's the place to put the jack on the rear of your truck, right there in the middle. Before you lift the truck up, make sure that you loosen up the lug nuts. Don't get them all the way out, just get them loose. Now that your truck is up on the air, put the jack stand. Jack is still in place. Just like in any other brake, you have to remove these two bolts, but before that disconnect the parking brake, press on the clip on top, pull on the cable, and the parking brake cable is out. If you notice on my RAV4, there is only two connectors inside, if you have three, you have to use a computer but if you have two like mine you can use this method that I'm about to show you on how to retract the electric parking brake mechanism you need a 14 millimeter for the top one because in here is the motor assembly for this little nut you need 17 millimeter On the bottom one, we can use a ratchet. And a 17 millimeter. Once those two bolts are out, you can remove the whole assembly. These brake pads are new, I don't have to replace them, I just wanted to show you the way to do this process. Now that you have that like that, there is one way to push the piston. This is going to be the next step, I have a battery from a screwdriver. And I have these two cables, black and red. You're gonna connect one to one side, 
and the red one to the other connector. On the battery you have positive and negative, red on the positive. And with the black one, just touching on the negative. You hear the motor? Right now I have the motor going in, but if we change them, if we change the connectors the other way around, You see the piston is coming out. So we gotta do it the other way around. You're gonna hear the motor going, but it's not gonna push in, you have to push it. You can do it by hand. Once it's stopped, you can do it again. Once it's all the way in, then you can put your new brake pads. And these cables, you can find them anywhere. I get these ones where I used to work at Arson. This is a battery from a drill. And only if you have two connectors on your plug, you should be good. Once your brake is all the way seated, you can reassemble everything. This truck is brand new. Uh, I know my pins are lubricated, but when you do a complete job, make sure that your pins are lubricated, put new loop in it, make sure that they slide properly when you have to do a brake job. In my case, I'm just showing you how to do the electrical part. I have another video that I'm gonna put on the description so you can go and see how I do my rear brakes on my Honda Core, how I did it on my Subaru. I have plenty of videos on that. This is just touching the electrical part of this brake assembly. Torque it down to 20 foot pounds. Connector, make sure it's plugged in. Before you put the tire and get everything done, make sure that you go activate the parking brake. Next step, pull on the brake. Brake is activated. But if you change the brakes, you're not done yet. You have to do it like a regular brake job. Before you start driving, pump your brake pedal until you get some pressure, making sure that your brakes are working. Next step, mount your tire, torque it down to 76 foot pounds and go for a test drive. Go for a drive to test your new brakes. So guys, I hope you like this episode. This is the way to work with electric parking brakes. I hope you like this little episode. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'm gonna be happy to help. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>
Bye.